beautiful Libra, welcome to my channel. This is Baba Jolie here with your career reading for November 2020. I'm just cleansing your space here and I've meditated on your cards. For those of you who are returning, welcome back to my channel. Thank you so much for your wonderful likes, shares and subscribes. I'm truly grateful for all your beautiful energy. Just a little reminder that this is a general reading. It may not resonate for everybody, so please take what is for you and leave the rest behind. Mercury is currently in retrograde until the 3rd of November, so you may have found that correspondence gets misconstrued or delayed. A little bit frustrating, but we are coming out of that shortly. Now we have the High Priestess to start. We have the Emperor. Thank you so much, Spirit Guides, Guardian Angels. Can you please guide my beautiful Libra? What do they need to know regarding their career? Can you please guide them for men they're meant to see? Uh, we have the Strength card. Beautiful energy. Oh, they've asked me to go again, so I will. One moment, please. For those of you, oh, for those of you who are interested, we have the lovers. Uh, for those of you who are interested, I am using the White Witch Tarot to gain the overall energy of the spread. Now I'm using um, the Good Tarot to get the details. So uh, you have very uh, interesting energy for the month of November. Uh, a lot of um, a lot of strength as you power forward. I feel like um, you're very much um, concentrated on your goals at this time. Thank you so much, Spirit Guides, Great Angels. Can you please guide my beautiful Libra? What do they need to know? We have the Five of Air. Just so you're aware, we don't take um, reversals in this deck, only uprights. We have the Three of Water. Wonderful celebration there. We have the Nine of Fire and we have the Tower. Okay, interesting energy. So uh, they've asked for one more, so I will give it. Thank you so much, Spirit Guides, Great Angels. One more for my... Thank you so much. I'm truly grateful. Thank you. Um... So we have uh, the star, beautiful energy, and we have the seven of air. Okay, so they are giving me an energy here of um, this high priestess. This is Virgo energy. Now, this is the protagonist energy as you move forward through the month of November. There's a bit of a reveal here for you uh, in, in November, Libra. It feels very much like some sort of secret or mystery is coming to the surface, something you had not seen before but you may have intuitively sensed it now it feels like it may be about a person or a situation that you were thinking about partnering up with i feel like there is some sort of um union here now this feels very much like it could be union uh, it's definitely union to do with your career but it may be you thinking about partnering up with someone in your soul tribe or you know your uh your loved one your your romantic interest it feels very much like something comes to the surface now this could mean um that you know you get uh, some sort of um news that comes your way that makes you think about partnering up with somebody else or you've just found some news about the person that you're partnering up with we're going to go deeper and find out um but it feels very energized okay with this high priestess it allows you to move forward and know the truth of a situation um but it reminds you to trust yourself okay as you move forward um through this month now the high priestess is kind of like um it, it's almost like a pause you know uh it's it's like a stop let's let's regroup let's listen to intuition what is my intuition telling me so november especially crossed by that five of air um there feels like there is some sort of um how can i put that um it feels very much like this tension conflict something is off as you're going into november you're not sure what it is but it will all get revealed there with that high priestess now it doesn't look like there's anything to uh, really worry about because you've got the star as a, a, a unified energy, but it may make you feel a little bit uncomfortable at first. Just got to give it to you the way it's coming out. Um, there is healing and there is ascension in this energy, um, but you may feel like time is ticking on a certain thing as you move through the, your business. Um, it feels like you're being pressured into something and Libra, you know, you don't like to be pressured into anything. I mean, that's an obvious thing to say. No human likes to be pressured into anything, but it may uh, shift your balance slightly uh, because um, th it feels like you're conflicted about something. You need to make a decision on something and it's making you a little bit conflicted okay now we do have this emperor card it is in the antagonist position so you may be thinking about because this is aries energy you may be thinking about um 
leading in business, perhaps becoming a boss, and you're conflicted if this is really the decision you want to make. You may even even be, you know, in entrepreneurial kind of mode where you're thinking about setting up your own business and thinking about partnering up with somebody. It may be even a, a business on the side as to what you do already, because I feel like you're very hardworking at what you do already, and you've had a wonderful idea. Something is sort of manifested, and you're thinking about either do you go solo on this idea? Can you go solo on this idea? Do you need to uh, speak to someone in a position of authority or um, who has a little bit more knowledge in this area? Or are you thinking about partnering up with your someone that's very close to you that you trust? But there's conflict. So it feels like something arises that makes you question this partnership in some way. It doesn't have to be a negative thing, just to let you know. I don't want anyone out there thinking, oh my God, they're being dishonest. I don't feel that energy, but it feels like whatever this reveal is, it's got you up in your head. Now this emperor in the reverse, because when you get it in the resistance position, which is the antagonist, it's like you received it in the reverse. You could be dealing with someone who's a little bit immature, okay? Who's got a bit of an ego and it's rubbing against yours slightly, Libra. You've got a, a an intention, you've got a way of doing things, and whoever this person is that you're dealing with or thinking about partnering up with, you may be re-questioning it because it feels like this person doesn't really plan ahead. They're a little bit immature in their energy. They're a little bit chaotic, okay? It feels very much like Libra. You may be absorbing this energy also because it feels very un it feels like it's a double a sword, a double-edged sword with this card. Um, <clears throat> they just said ice and fire to me. Ice and fire. So perhaps this person, um, I feel like there's like a coldness and a passion, that ice and fire. So you're very different to this person or this situation and you're having to fight it with ice and fire, you know, be really cold, analytical, but also be bold enough to use that passion to drive you through the situation. Um, we're going to go deeper and see what they mean by ice and fire. Um, but I guess we've got fire there, we've got ice. So um, with this emperor, you, you really know where you want to go. This is the energy to overcome. You want damn respect in this situation, Libra, and you deserve it, okay? So this is about you being bold, strategically planning for the future, but getting some advice if you need it, if something has actually made you feel a little bit distrusting of a situation. If your instincts are going crazy and saying, like your spidey sense is saying, something's off here, listen to it because you got the high priestess and you have that five of air. So caution is required in this situation. Now we do have the strength card. It's in the unified position. So this is about believing what you're worth, you know, knowing your self-worth, knowing what you deserve and respecting yourself, having the courage to go after what you truly deserve. So um, if you've got conflict with somebody, I feel like you're rising up and you're being diplomatic, but you're actually doing what's best for you. Um, now also the strength card reminds you to stand in your power, okay? Stand your ground, whatever this situation, if you're in conflict with a person, you know, uh, masculine or feminine, it's not about the, the gender here, it's about the energy. So it feels very much like, you know, you may be conflicted in your mind, but they really want you to follow your heart and also surrender to the universe because your guides will not lead you astray in this situation. <clears throat> but you could be dealing with, oh, I'm um, losing, <clears throat> it feels like there's like, something in my throat, uh, like uh, speaking up may be uh, difficult at this time, uh, but when we have this uh, in the strength card, someone may be, um, you know, a little bit, how can I put that, um, in some way sabotaging, and they, I feel like they don't mean to, I feel like they're just a little bit nervous about the situation, there's discord here, it's led from fear, um, but it requires courage. Now, if you're not speaking up Libra, which I, I believe you would always speak your truth, but if you feel a little bit nervous about this energy of, um, maybe you feel like what you are about to say could rock the boat, but if it's the truth, you should speak it, even if your voice shakes. That's the energy that they're giving me because, you know, uh, we have short time on this planet. We should actually uh, communicate how we feel in the moment. Be kind and diplomatic in your discourse, uh, but know your worth and stand up for that, okay, with that uh, strength card. But you, this person may have a, a Leo or an Aries placement or a Virgo. Uh, also, we got the Gemini out here. Um, so this is the choice you have. So I feel like um, you may be dealing with someone who is very immature in this situation. You may find out some information about this person that you are not happy with, and you have a choice. 
Do you partner up or stay in a partnership with this person or do you walk away to sort of um, retain your dignity, your sanity? Because I feel like there's a lot of anxiety here. With this lover's card, um, it used to be called the choice, just so you're aware. Um, but when you get it, it feels very much like it's like oneness, you know, it's about partnership. It's, it's, are you stronger together or are you stronger apart? So that could be to do with the company that you're wa working with or someone who is making your life a little bit difficult. They're an immature energy that you're currently paired with at this moment. Um, and you're thinking about walking away. Um, now it is in the unified position. So they're indicating it's your choice, Libra. You get to decide how this goes down. Okay, but there is, um, do it with love because the Gemini card, uh, the lovers is number six and that is the number of love, okay, and diplomacy, that sort of thing. So um, act from your heart, make your decisions from the heart and it will not lead you astray. Stand in your power. Now we do have that five of air, so there's a little bit of conflict, as I said. Uh, five of air feels like there's tension. So if you're having to make some sort of decision, then know that you need to stop and listen to your intuition because that is the caution. The two cards together indicate caution, okay? Um, it doesn't mean that there's anything untoward or scary. It just means that your intuition is trying to tell you something. Stand back, see the situation. Now, there could be, as I said, someone verbally pushing you into a situation or being um, unkind in a certain situation. Um, also, they're asking you to come into um, being with your authentic self. Now, Libra, you absolutely lead with truth and integrity always, but they're indicating if you're keeping it to yourself, if you're keeping it all like bottled up and you feel like you cannot talk about how you're feeling, um, then that's gonna lead to inner conflict. And they really are indicating it's your choice, but you should stand in your power, know your worth, know that you are deserving. The Emperor card here is, it indicates that you know your stuff, okay? You can plan for the future. You're very, you know, you're, you're headed towards the top of your game. But whatever your intuition is telling you, please listen, okay? Um, now we have a nine of fire. It's crossed by the tower. So that is very interesting energy. It's caution, caution. That's what I'm getting. Caution, there is a bit of a surprise here. So they're indicating the same energy. Uh, that nine of fire, I, I know nobody wants to hear about caution and you know something um, unexpected is coming. Um, it doesn't mean that it is uh, a negative, 100% negative. What it means is, you know, there is uncertainty in this situation that needs re-evaluation, okay? There are circumstances that are going to present themselves um, that require your attention, closely attention, okay? The nine of wands is connected to this. So there indicates here, um, like, keep your boundaries high in this situation, but persist, okay? This doesn't mean everything is lost. There's no, like, major drama here, but there is a call for you to look closer, okay, uh, to the details. So if you're setting up your, your company, um, some sort of entrepreneurial pursuit there, Look at the fine details. Make sure you're signing contracts because they're showing me contracts. Um, make sure you're, you're reading all those fine details before you sign on the dotted line, okay? It doesn't mean there's anything untoward in there. It just means know what you're signing your life away to, okay, with this. Now the nine of fire. Um, yeah, it's, it's kind of like stop, wait, look around before you proceed. Um, there is a sense of uncertainty and your inner wisdom is bringing illumination to the situation. So you know the truth of the situation, Libra, but you just need to listen to it. Now, here we have the Tower card. I feel like very much it's either to do with a person, a boss type figure. There's going to be a bit of a surprise here and you need to really look again because the Emperor is often, you know, at the top of their game, um, managerial type thing. So, um, or, or boss, CEO, that sort of thing. If if something feels off about someone who works with you in your team, know that there is a bit of a surprise coming. Uh, but if you're trying to get your business off the ground and that emperor energy is you being entrepreneurial, pay close attention to uh, contracts. There's a bit of a surprise. Now, the tower card often comes to shake up the energy and stop you from being stuck. A lot of people get very nervous about it. In this particular deck, this tower card moment is um, a surprise that comes along to shake up the energy for the better, okay? It's a transformation that um, makes you keep your eyes open, but it is for your highest good. Um, it also um, 
it's like a sudden shift that is about to happen um so don't rush into anything um so as said contracts whatever if someone's trying to pressurize you put the brakes on you stand in your power and you do things in your own time libra okay nobody gets to unbalance you um now the, they really want me to highlight the the traditional rider wake to row the the tower card there a lightning bolt hits the crown chakra which is the top of the the the, the tower and the crown chakra uh flies off so that is opening your intuition okay um and also the building normally goes on fire um and there's two figures that normally leap into the unknown they want to indicate that those figures they leap they take a leap of faith so the surprise comes to nudge someone off the fence to take a leap of faith in something and if they stayed where they were they would get burnt it would be painful so the tower card just comes along to say the universe doesn't want you stuck anymore libra they want you to succeed okay but this this situation calls for your attention uh now we do have the three of water which is absolutely beautiful this is the unified position so what they're indicating this is the overall energy of what is to come which is very exciting standing in your power following your heart there is a choice of partnership up here now as i said whether that's partnering with a company or uh you know partnering with a, a different department or a different boss or even your loved ones your romantic interest there's celebration three of water is very exciting this is enjoying the moment um this is abundance that's coming your way there's a common goal here people coming together to share um their um unique kind of attributes in order to rise okay so there is a wonderful circle of support here for you but ultimately we have celebration now it's interesting because we we've got three pearls there but they're indicating there's some sort of there's a choice i feel like there's a choice coming uh in terms of ideas i feel like you're going to run with a certain idea that actually is right at the top of your game um it it helps you ascend um So are they just giving me something? One moment, please. Okay. They're showing me a tire. A tire from a vehicle. Um it it's on its own. It doesn't have a hub cap. Uh it's almost Okay, this is quite precise. It's like um it's like it's been made into a swing. Okay? Uh now that's very precise. That's not going to be for everyone. Um But I'm getting an energy of work and life balance as well there. Um but uh so this tire uh if you've just like set up a tire and made it into a swing or it's relevant to you in some way perhaps it's a childhood memory or something um there's i can't quite gauge the exact spiritual energy of what the message is so it must be an indicator for somebody out there that there's something in this message for you okay um if it's relevant for you in the last couple of days that maybe you were on a tire swing or something like that then there's something in this message for you but celebration is here for you um but there is a couple of ideas um that are coming and we're going to pull more cards on that but as you can see this is a very very exciting time all of your nervousness and your anxiety has been a call for you to look closer at the details and as a result you come out on top the star card energy is aquarian energy this is um miracles happening you may you may feel like oh it's all lost or a little bit nerve-wracking it's not going to work out but actually you got the 3 of water which is celebration the star which is abundance the stars are aligning for your ascension your success here so you're being called to have faith and know that you're going to get some sort of recognition for your hard work some sort of award perhaps a uh, good news and it it's either like a raise in promotion um you know a, a new investment financial investment in your uh, financial future there or a new job opportunity it feels very much like it is a, a fruitful time but mainly because you listen to your intuition you'll thank your your future self will thank you for this moment for paying close attention to the details but also the star brings illumination and inspiration so there is this one idea well i think there was a couple of ideas but there's one idea in particular that you've been really inspired to act upon now whether that's to create your own business on the side entrepreneurial or whether it is to uh, you know partner up with somebody because it's more fruitful it's going to be very successful okay so just so you are aware um now we also have the seven of air now we've got that seven of air here um it's a reminder um that you know don't run away from the the fine details you know you got some planning to do okay and also this is a reminder as well with that seven of air 
Don't be a people pleaser, Libra. I don't imagine that you are, but if someone or something is putting a pressure on you to sign a contract in this amount of time, or you're not ready to do something, you're not ready to action something, take time out. This is your life, okay? You're not here to please um, other people. You're here to please yourself first. I know that sounds selfish, but you cannot offer a cup of love or devotion to a cause unless you are full in your own power first, okay? So marching to the beat of your own drum. You've got wonderful ideas. Look at that. We got the seven of air. Okay. So we've got a lot of ideas. We've got peace, but, um, you know, there'll be a lot of interference as it were. You've got all those geese there. Uh, there's an indication and energy here of interference, but you're being independent in this moment. Okay. So, um, it's also a call to be d diplomatic you know, reject any sort of confrontation with this. You can lead with love because we have the lovers there. Um, but it calls for you to speak your truth in this situation. So um, exciting energy as you move forward. I'm just going to use the English Magic Tarot to gain a little bit more details. Thank you so much, Spirit Guides, Guardian Angel. Can you please? Thank you so much. We have the Hangman in reverse. And we have the Knight of Cups in the reverse. Thank you so much, Spirit Guides, Great Angels. Can you please guide my beautiful Libra? What do they need to know? We have the Ace of Swords. So that's finding out the truth of the situation and not really speaking the truth there um, or not speaking up about something. We have the Nine of Cups in the reverse. So when we get this, there's an indication here that something that you'd hoped for um, may not have gone exactly the way you had planned at first. And it's an energy of you're turning it around. Someone had high expectations in this connection. Now, whether this was the person you're dealing with or a company you're dealing with, it feels like it's unrealistic expectations they had, Libra, and you have to set them straight, okay? Because it's only gonna leave conflict. Now, there's also an energy, they're giving me a double energy, that maybe you had unrealistic expectations of yourself, Libra, because this situation means a lot to you. So you may have tried to do everything all at once by yourself. You gotta remember you're human. Okay, give yourself a break, take some time out, rest, trust your intuition, yes, but you know, don't feel like this burden is all by yourself when you have that Knight of Cups, okay, in the reverse. It just creates tension and conflict that is obviously is an indication from spirit that all is not completely balanced in your world. And it's a reminder to really look at the details and just hang back a little bit. Um, but don't overburden yourself with it. Now we have the hangman. So if you're dealing with someone who's pressurizing you with this uh, Pisces energy, this hangman, there's an energy of um, selfishness. This person is taking the, your time, per, perhaps even feeling like the victim, like pushing, pushing upon you. And they, they, they refuse to get a different viewpoint. It feels like if you've got one, because they've given me ice and fire again. So if you've got one viewpoint and the other person has got another viewpoint, it feels very much like it's st you know stalemate kind of energy. That's the energy. You know, nobody can proceed forward in this position unless there is a, a conversation, um, something to have a breakthrough here. And the hangman requires each party or you to um, gain wisdom in this situation, get a different perspective in order to move forward. Um, now there may also be an energy here of having to wait, put the brakes on, um, when this information or surprise arrives. It's almost like you're in the car, you think you're going from A to B, and then there, something pops up that's unseen on your path. You have to put the brakes on and go, whoa, didn't see that coming. Got to get out, got to investigate it. Okay, how can I get around this? Get back in the car and then drive off. Okay, that's the energy that I'm kind of getting here. But we have that Ace of Swords. Someone withheld this information from you. You may even feel like uh, someone was being dishonest in the situation. Uh, there's a lot of mental stress with this. So I can see the conflict, the anxiety, but you want to get to the truth of the situation and you will. But you just must stay in your power and, um, you know, use diplomacy. I don't know why they keep telling me diplomacy, but diplomacy. Libra, I feel like you're about to kick right off about this situation, but you're, you're holding yourself back. Don't hold yourself back too far that you don't say anything, but don't go in there kicking and screaming and, you know, kicking people to kingdom come and sort of thing, because it may not go in your favor long term, because they're indicating there's a choice down the line uh, that will be very successful, but... 
if we all go in there with guns blazing straight away, you know, we shoot everyone and a bullet may ricochet and shoot us as well. You know, that sort of energy. You know, we don't want to, you know, cut off our own noses to spite our face. That's the energy I'm getting with this. Um, but if you find that there is um, someone who's not speaking their truth, know that everything is about to be revealed to you. Okay. Um, now they've asked me to go again. So um, I will. I'm using the uh, light visions tarot to gain a little bit more detail thank you so much for it guys great angels can you please guide uh sorry just give me something one moment please i'm just gonna be silent okay uh maybe i think this is a place so we got the ace of Ch sorry we've got the eight of chalices they were saying um i'm gonna say this right um please don't shoot me for the uh, pronunciation here fortaventura Fort, Fort de Ventura. Um, so if either you're from that place or that is resonant, Fort de Ventura, they're showing me like movement, dancing, Fort de Ventura. Okay, maybe that's a, a name of someone who does some music as well. Um, and I feel a celebration there. Um, Fort de Ventura it feels very freeing. Um, so if maybe it's the name of a company that you work for or something, if that means something to you, Fort de Ventura, then there's something in this message for you. Okay. Um, thank you so much, Spirit Guides, Guardian Angels. Can you please guide? After this reading, I'm going to look up what it means because it may have a specific meaning uh, that I'm not aware of right now. We have the Wheel of Fortune. So you're turning the situation around and it is really exciting energy. Um, we have the Strength in Reverse though. So a little bit of doubt from your side. Uh, you may also be like battling. We've got the Four of Chalices. We've got the High Priestess. Same message, okay? So beautiful energy because you're coming out on top. This is going to go in your favor, okay? So we have the Eight of Chalices. Now this is walking away from anything that does not serve you emotionally. Maybe not physically, but I feel like you're withdrawing emotionally from the situation because the conflict is a little bit too much. Um, it's interesting because we got that Knight of Cups in the reverse. So whoever this person is, because they're giving me another energy right now, which is this may be a boss type figure who showed you some sort of advances, Libra. And uh, maybe you were not interested in this person. And as a result, this person is causing a lot of conflict for you. Okay. Not very, they're not acting in very high vibe, very low vibe person. Their ego has been dented. That's why we've got that strength card showing up in the reverse. Um, so if they made some sort of um, romantic advance or sexual advance towards you, I'm getting romantic. I don't feel like this person was trying to be leery or anything. I feel like they came with intentions of love towards you. If that's you and you've been working with this person, uh, I, I see you walking away, Ada Chalices, because that's not w which way you wanted to go there. But I feel like you checked out of the situation. You may have abandoned um, them and there is conflict, okay? This person may be making things difficult for you because of that, okay? Um, but equally, I see you walking away from conflict. You're listening to your intuition and you know that something's not right and you're paying attention. And then you're walking away from the emotions because you need to focus on being analytical and getting the job done and removing your emotions. That I feel like, yeah, you're just sort of withholding your emotions in the situation because you need to be very uh, super focused because we have that emperor there. Now along comes the Wheel of Fortune, turning the situation around. So this is the surprise, okay? As I said, the Tower card is not always a dun 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 disaster, doom and gloom, okay? It just means the hand of fate, the Wheel of Fortune, is entering the situation to get you nudged off the fence if you were because we have that lover's card which is the choice card because if you're sitting on the fence about making a decision the universe says oh come on already the situation should be done let's go and then they just sort of like nudge you off that fence so the wheel of fortune is the turning point for the better so there is success in the situation for you it may feel risky it may feel like a gamble but it pays off so pay close attention to the contracts that you're signing etc etc as i said all the fine details it is going to work out in your favor. It's like fortune's wheel, destiny meets synchronicity, okay? You're going to experience very meaningful coincidences at this time. They're giving me like a syn uh, synchronistic numbers. Uh, actually, they're saying names, okay? I've never heard of this name before, but they're giving me this. Uh, Juanista. 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 Or is it Juanita or Juanita? 
One is done. Okay, if that resonates for you, then there's something in this message for you. Um, sorry, they're also showing me something else. <laughs> oh, well. They just said quarter pound, quarter pound. Now, I don't know if that's in terms of, you know, you just gone to the store, the grocery store and got a quarter pound of something. Um, quarter pound. <clears throat> I don't mean, I don't know if that's in money because I think pounds are British. But yeah, I think they're still British pounds, not Euro. Um, quarter pound, that's what they're saying to me. So perhaps you feel like um, you were meant to get more than a quarter pound and you're being offered it and you're standing in your power and saying you deserve more. Um, if quarter pound resonates for you, I'd love to hear about it because I don't know what the energy is of that. Um, so please, um, you may be even partnering up with three other people and you are the, the fourth quarter pound. Um, so I'm not sure, but there is success coming here. An event, the universe uh, is delivering some sort of event, a lucky break for you to turn the situation around and your destiny starts becoming obvious to you. The path becomes clear. Okay. Now we have that strength in reverse. That doesn't mean that this person is not going to try and, um, sabotage the connection or you know use their abuse of power because I feel like there's an ego dented in this situation but what I am getting is that don't doubt yourself Libra they really with this spread the whole three of them I mean they're saying don't doubt the situation don't doubt yourself with that strength of, uh, in reverse Leo energy um, we have the four chalices there is a new option available to you so do not worry when you get the four of cups you may feel fed up Okay, four chalices is four cups. You may feel apathy, unfulfilled in the situation where you were. And that's why the universe comes along and delivers the gift. Okay, it delivers a, uh, a, an extra sort of surprise um, that says, oh, you know, you deserve this. Here it is. So keep your eyes peeled because this surprise turns the situation around. There is a new uh, option that becomes available to you. And finally, you start on the high priestess, you end on the high priestess. Trust your intuition. It is not leading you astray, okay? Listen to that spidey sense. Um, everything will become clear and you will know the direction you're headed in. As you can see, it's, it's a pair of legs walking away, uh, but in water because water, you know, I keep that water um, because it is about scrying, you know, seeing images, using emotions and energy for water. You know with your emotions what is right and what is wrong. That is a gauge for you um, to trust the undercurrent of the situation. Also, this figure has a coin in their hand, okay? Um, they're saying de bloom, de bloom, de bloom. Okay, I know that de bloom is like uh, some sort of financial exchange uh, from the past, de bloom. I think it's very sort of artistic, uh, de bloom. I don't know which country, but I'm being, it's like Italy maybe, de bloom, it feels, Maybe that was a currency once. Um, maybe you found something like that or you ha you collect coins and uh, you have things called doubloons. I'm going to look that up as well. I love doing these readings because I learn so much. Uh, but they're indicating that financially you will walk away with more than you expected and that there is a big celebration coming. Trust your ideas. Trust your intuition. It's all on point. Okay, but it starts with the reveal. I got to say, Libra, keep your eyes peeled in November because something's not right. And you know it okay now we're just gonna leave it there uh, don't get nervous though I just want to put that aside it's all gonna turn out awesome um, now I'm just gonna give you a final message I'm using um, the universe has your back by Gabby Bernstein thank you so much for guys great angels any final messages for my beautiful Libra what do they need to know regarding this situation can you please guide them for their highest good what are they meant to see for November Wow that's quite a lot I don't normally take that much but if they want it they want it so we have when I'm connected to my joyful presence, I attract support from the universe. So maintain those high vibes. Um, they're also indicating the sun there for me. So it will be a joyous outcome. Okay, very successful outcome there. Um, but leading with high vibes. Okay, so a diplomacy, etc, etc. Lead with love. It's difficult, I know, we're all human, uh, but that's the energy I'm getting from that. When I think I've surrendered, I surrender more, okay? So you're being of service to the situation, um, but you, you're asking the universe to 
step into this situation and they will actually take control and help you guide you by sending that wheel of fortune moment guide you to where you need to be okay we sorry they're just giving me these words shorts oh sorry i just want to get that exactly shorts on point shorts on point i don't know what that means shorts on point so i mean not unless you just bought some new shorts and you're currently looking at yourself wearing them in the mirror as you listen to this message and spirits going boy they're a nice pair of shorts shorts on point i don't know <laughs> I, I doubt they're doing that uh, perhaps you make short films or shorts uh short segments in something and they're on point they're like maybe it's about making bullet points um in terms of you know some sort of presentation shorts on point keeping it like succinct that sort of energy uh, maybe you're making a presentation, you're writing down a presentation as you listen to this message. Uh, if that resonates for you, there's something in this message for you. It says, the key to prayer is to forget what I think I need. Okay, so at the end of the day, see the goal that you want to happen at the end of the day, but don't attach any expectation to it. The universe will deliver often more than you expect. Okay, my energy creates my reality. What I focus on is what I will manifest. So they want me to attach that to the five of swords there, the five of air, because if you're conflicted and you're nervous and anxious, it's easier said than done. I know we're all human, but if you keep being in a vibe of anxiety, all you do is expend anxious energy into the universe and more situations for anxiety will return to you. Okay. So, um, it's almost like an energy of let go and let God, what will be, will be. Okay. So, um, but I feel like this universe is taking control of the situation um, to turn it around. And it says, the moment I realign myself with love, clear direction is presented to me. Okay, so lead with love. You have a choice, but definitely lead with love. That's the energy I was picking up there. Uh, we also have happiness is my birthright. Libra, you deserve this. Don't for a second think you do not deserve this. You deserve happiness and it is coming for you, okay? Happiness is often found within, just to let you know, but ultimately this situation, you deserve the best outcome. And finally, we have obstacles are detours in the right direction. So exactly the image that they were giving me right at the beginning of your reading, which is driving in a car, uh, putting the brakes on because you see something in the road, you have to get out, investigate it closer, understand what it is and get back in the car to drive around it. There's a reason why this detour is happening. It's because you're meant to take it in order to either A, meet new people for networking, B, uh, seek this new opportunity that's coming that leads to a higher financial um, investment. Um, you're right on point. Okay, Libra, just so you're aware. Okay, my beautiful Libra, I'll just give you a trinket before we close. Thank you so much for guys, going angels. Can you please guide my beautiful Libra? What do they need to know? Ooh, we got a beautiful angel. You are being guided and protected at this time, Libra. You are not alone, okay? So if you feel anxious, call on your guides because they literally asked me to put it on the five of air where there is conflict and tension. Give it over to your guides. Peace of mind. They will take care of it, okay, Libra? You're not alone here. So this is all going to come good. So roundabout, I'm just seeing if they can give me a number. 18. So they're giving me number 18. Okay, now number 18, interestingly enough, is the moon card. So that is when a reveal will happen. Um, and the clarity will uh, clarity will reign. So the 18th of November, um, this is when things get shifted, turned around. That's when you really find out this information and everything turns out in your favor. Okay, my beautiful Libra, we will leave it there. I hope something resonated in this reading for you. If it did, please like or subscribe to my channel. Completely free for you. All you have to do is press a little bell. Apparently that's important. It lets you know when I update my next message and lets me know that you resonate with the reading, which is very important for me. Thank you so much, my beautiful Libra. Good luck in this situation. Love and light.